Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about some of the miracle stories that are happening right here in our own city, in our own state, every day. My name is Tony Kosha, and the title of our show is Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. Please note, uh, this show is not about religion, and we're not trying to change anyone's religion, and we're not trying to get you to join any religion. Uh, it's just about miracle stories. I don't know of any religion on the planet that doesn't talk about miracles. Uh, that's why religions begin, because they have something that's telling them there's really a God. But we're not going to get into that. We're going to just talk about miracles and leave the decisions about all that up to you. So we don't care what religion you are. Uh, we just want to talk about miracles. Uh, if you are an atheist, uh, I'm, I think you'll enjoy the program as well, although I can't guarantee you'll remain an atheist very long after you hear uh, many, many convincing stories, uh, coincidence kinds of stories about miracles. Uh, you can email me your own stories if you wish. Um, we'll try to use all we can on the show. I can't guarantee we will, depending on volume and time. But you're welcome to send your stories on to us, and we will mention them when we can. Uh, you can send them to the following email address. Um, uh, but please notice that if we do use your story, we won't mention your name. We'll keep you anonymous. And we suggest that in your story, when you send it to us, don't use your correct name. That way, anyone listening will not be able to figure out that it was you that sent the story in. Uh, the email address you can send your stories to uh, is very easy to remember. It consists of two words and three numbers. The first word is Tony, spelled T O N Y. And the second word is and, spelled A N D. And the numbers are 777. So once again, the name is Tony and 777 at AOL.com. Well, let us begin. Our first coincidence miracle today is a listener who tells us they were inspired one day. They got an intuition to compliment people uh, that they were seeing throughout the day, shopping, uh, complimenting people on their hairstyle or the clothing they're wearing or the, the style of their car or some comments they hear them make over here, you know, complimenting someone for doing a good deed to someone else. And they were inspired to do that, and they... They shared how they were feeling good about doing that. They could see that it was, you know, brightening up the lives of a lot of people <clears throat> who might seem very gloomy or sad. And then you compliment them about something and they, they seem to get ebullient and, and come to life. So, And then they said that later that day, they were listening to some of our shows on our podcast and they heard one of our shows suggesting that that would be a good thing for people to do because it it helps God cheer up some people because he knows what they need to hear and God dwells within every person so God dwelling within us prompts us to make a compliment to someone because he knows they need to hear that. More importantly is he knows when people need to get a compliment sometimes they're down to their last straw. Our next story is something that happened to me. I was at the beach passing out cards and talking about our books uh, passing cards out to blankets of people uh, I was there doing that for about five hours. That can get tiring, and you can get a little hoarse, uh, saying a lot of things over and over. Uh, so I was tired. It was late, and I was getting ready to go, and I got inspired by Jesus. Tell me, do three more blankets, three more blankets before you leave. And I got inspired which three blankets to do. It was near the exit. <clears throat> and so I did. I went to do the three blankets, and an amazing thing happened. I, I you had to be there to see this. I hope you'll believe me when I tell you. But every one of the blankets that I went through, one blanket had like three people, another blanket had five people, another blanket had four people. Every one of the blankets I went through, they all said to me when I was done with a maybe a two-minute presentation that they were just talking about the same thing that I just said. I said some different things at each blanket, but basically I was saying, you know, I wrote two books about God and miracles. Uh, I've had a lot of miracles happen in my life. We have a radio show that, a uh, podcast that lists uh, many uh, shows, uh, people calling in and telling us about their miracle stories or writing in. Uh, and I gave them a couple of specific examples of kinds of miracles that are in our books, etc. 
And all three blankets uh, of people were talking about the exact things that I brought up. That's truly amazing. And I'm saying it not to boast, but I'm saying it because, you see, Jesus said, Tony, do three more blankets. He knew what they were talking about. And when I got there, he inspired me what to say at each blanket. And then he got them, inspired them to tell me they were just talking about it because they didn't have to do that. And the only way I know that that this is a tremendous miracle is because God inspired them to tell me that they were just talking about the same things. Now, the third blanket, the last blanket of the three, was really amazing because when I started talking, the father called his wife over and his three children. They were listening in to me, but they weren't listening attentively. And he called them over and he said, look, guys, I want you to listen to what he's saying. And he asked me to start over again. And he said, you know, please listen to what he's saying. So I started over again. I said the same thing. When I finished, here's what he said. The father said to his three kids, now you three guys know that I told you the exact identical thing. I was saying the same thing to you just a half, half a minute before he came over, and I, we were talking about God and how God inspires people. And now you see, he sends, God sends somebody over here to say the same identical things that I was telling you. And him and his wife both agreed, and they were flabbergasted. And I was also flabbergasted, and the three kids were all flabbergasted. The age range of the kids was something like, I think, uh, 11 and then maybe 13 and maybe 15. That was the age bracket of the three kids. Now, there's three kids, husband and wife and me. That's uh, six people blown away by God having me continue to three more blankets before I leave. And while I'm doing that, he has his this father talking to the kids about the same identical things. You know, I can't make these stories up. These things have been happening to me for 50 years now. And, and that's why I had, I had to write two books about it. I hope listeners out there are getting the point that if you ask God what to do and he inspires you in your mind and you do it, these are the kinds of things that happen. They're called coincidence miracles. And I'm trying to encourage the whole world, keep talking to God. And if you talk to God and do what he tells you to do, these kinds of things will happen to you and your loved ones every day. Our next story is from a listener who tells us they've been noticing over the last couple of weeks that God has been inspiring them on a regular basis. They know that they're getting thoughts from God, inspirations, that's God talking to you, incoming of the Spirit, that's what an inspiration means. It's two words, inspiration, means the Spirit's coming in, and the word idea. They've been noticing because they're doing what comes into their mind and they're getting confirmations. And they were doing this while they were driving their car on the way to church. And here's what happened. They're driving to church. And while they're thinking of how God has been sending them confirmations and what they're hearing on our podcast and seeing in our books and our website is true. Um, And here's what happened. They were in back of a truck. It was a electric uh, contractor's truck. It had a license plate number 777. It had a phone number that had three twos in it, 222. And they noticed there was a Better Business Bureau statement on the back of the truck, and and it showed BBB as Better Business Bureau. And promptly when they saw the three Bs, they recognized that's the second letter of the alphabet. So Better Business Bureau is also three twos. So they're telling us that, you know, our show has helped them to be sensitized to notice numbers as God's talking to you like a Morse code. God uses numbers to get your attention. I mean, if you if you keep seeing three sevens on license plates, you know, five times in a one hour trip, you see five different cars with three sevens. You got to get sensitized to say, you know, God is trying to show me something. Right. And here he is in back of a. A, a, an electrical contractor's truck, and on the on the truck on the van, he's seeing all these numbers. Three sevens as a license plate, three twos in the phone number, and a BBB Better Business Bureau. So, however God wants to get your attention, let Him get your attention. He's trying to show you that He's talking to you. He's trying to show you that He wants you to have discussions with Him, and that's why people get these numbers. Some people have written books about uh, angel numbers. I know I have a lot of people tell me about angel numbers, 
And there are a lot of people writing books about that, and that's what they're talking about. They're saying lots of people keep seeing the number 444. Lots of people keep seeing the number 111. And they write books talking about how your guardian angel is trying to show you the number to have you sensitized to notice that you can talk to God and you can talk to the angels, etc. I push, my whole push in life, uh, after 50 years of seeing miracles, I have one ambition It's to convince everybody I can that God is sitting beside every person waiting for us to talk to him about anything. And when you talk to him about anything, he talks back. And you have a wonderful life just by talking to Jesus. Just talking to God alone makes your life a wonderful life. Our next input was something that was really amazing and flabbergasted me. Uh, We have a, a listener who told us that they noticed in the Catholic Catechism, Article Number 1776, which matches Independence Day, uh, or in the, the Declaration of Independence, we declared our independence as the United States in the year 1776. So they noticed in the Catechism, Article Number CCC 1776. Uh, is where it says that you can talk to God and you can hear God when you're talking to your conscience, when you're talking to your soul. So when you're talking to your own soul or your own conscience, or your conscience, God's presence is within that, within your soul, within your conscience, and God speaks back to you. And that's in the Catholic Catechism. And the Catholic Catechism has 2,865 paragraphs of statements uh, we've had thousands of saints, you know, at least at least 15,000 saints in the last 2,000 years, um, at least 15,000. And we, we probably have another half a million that have not been called saints. They just died, went to heaven, and they were saints, but we didn't know it. So we've had all these people in our history over the last 2,000 years, and they've they've told the church things that have happened to them during their life, And that's how the catechism evolves. The catechism is a summary of what the church has found to be the truth. So the church has found to be the truth. They put it in the catechism. And what they have in the catechism right now is article number 1776 says, when you talk to your conscience, when you talk to your soul, you're talking to God. When you listen to your conscience and listen to your soul, you're listening to God. So it's telling you, you can have conversations with God all day long, and it's proven in Article 1776. Now, I've been telling people about this for years. I taught Sunday school for 45 years, so I knew what the catechism said. But I'm so delighted, I can't tell you how happy I am that other people are noticing this, because there's uh, four four paragraphs, 1776 through 1779. It'll take you eight minutes to read. It's four paragraphs. If you look up seven, you can even Google it, Catholic Catechism 1776 to 1779, and you read those, you'll be convinced you can talk to God and God talks to you, and the Catechism says it very clearly. And now to have people telling us that they're noticing it is really exciting. And the scriptures in the Bible that match all this is John 10.27, John 14.26, and um, James chapter 1, verses 5 through 8. I'd like to ask everybody listening today to please tell the people in your life, tell the people you love in your circle of life, tell them about the Catholic Catechism, 1776 to 1779. Tell them to read those four paragraphs. It takes eight minutes. Tell them to read those scriptures, John 10, 27, John 14, 26, and James chapter 1. You'll help them. The people around you will will thank you that you're telling them they can talk to God and God talks to them all day long. God bless you all. I'll talk to you next week. (laughs) 